All right. So last week, um, last week on Friday, uh, we watched the little counselor prep video. OK, uh, basically your counselor should be contacting you today in this class on teams to discuss course selection for next year. Now, as always, it is possible they will not get to everyone. If that's the case, don't freak out. They have contingency plans in place. Uh, but if they call on teams, you need to be able to answer. So definitely have your teams up and running. That's true of the people here uh, in person. It's true of you guys online as well. Have your teams up and running. Uh, you shouldn't have to be in any specific room. You'll get like a little pop up that says, hey, uh, Miss Lockhart or whoever is, is waiting for you. Click on it and you should be able to communicate with them. When your counselor does that, if you want to have some privacy, I have two desks sitting out there. And it's kind of first sir. Trust me, I don't think you guys are getting into anything too sensitive. Uh, but if you feel the need and you want to go out there, just kind of give me the signal, let me know what's going on. And, and by all means, uh, get out there. Uh, if you want to go out there and there's, you know, people already at these desks, if you want to go chill and maybe take your chair, that's fine as well. Just make sure you bring that back in. What we had done prior, though, to Friday is we introduced the DBQ essay. We've done short answer questions. We've done two long essay questions, you know, your traditional style essay. Uh, last week, I introduced the final type of essay that we do, the DBQ essay. Very similar in structure to the LEQ essay. The biggest difference is you are getting all your evidence. You are getting your information. You are getting kind of the foundation of what your essay is going to be from seven historical documents. On Thursday, we, we did a sample DBQ. We kind of went through the process, um, kind of showing you how to break down the prompt, read over the documents, summarize them, look for some general themes, and then use those themes to kind of come up with what your thesis statement would be. Uh, and once you have that, guys, the rest of the essay is pretty much just summarizing the documents in a manner that connects back to your thesis statement. Uh, if you feel the need to uh, to kind of review the rubric, the rubric for the DBQ essay is in last week uh, under last, what is it, Wednesday in this AP history rubric. So I may add it uh, probably, I don't know, I'll probably add it into tomorrow's stuff as well. Today we are going to start preparing to actually write a real deal DBQ. Uh, you guys are going to start on an assignment today, a daily grade called the DBQ prep sheet. Essentially, I'm going to give you the documents. I'm going to give you the, the prompt that you're going to write about on Wednesday today. Uh, today, you're going to work independently, kind of working through the documents, reading through them, taking some notes, uh, kind of figuring out what this essay is going to look like. Tomorrow we'll come back together. We'll do something really similar to what we did on Thursday. We'll just kind of brainstorm the most appropriate way to maybe do your thesis statement to maybe structure your essay. And then on Wednesday in class, we are going to write this thing. Now, typically, you know, on like the AP test, you'll have an hour to write your DBQ essay, but really that's like 15 minutes of planning and about 45 minutes of actual writing. You're going to get the next two days to plan. But on Wednesday, I'm going to give you 45 minutes to write. The, thing. the good thing is if you put in the work today and tomorrow, this should be a really easy test grade. Uh, the prep sheet is going to be for a daily grade. The DBQ is going to be for for for, uh, for your first test grade. Uh, so hopefully, you know, by, by God, I don't know, Wednesday, Thursday, you should have a decent start to this six weeks, which some of you could really use. Uh, so let me go over kind of the files that you're going to be using today. First, click on the Peter the Great DBQ doc. And it may take a little bit to load up. You never know with Canvas. <coughs> Excuse me. OK, this is the DBQ essay you're going to be writing on Wednesday. OK, um, very similar in appearance to to what you'll see on the AP exam. Obviously, this is you know, kind of its own independent example, but you always start off with like a little prep sheet that goes over, you know, some of the basics of the DBQ. Your writing prompt is as follows. 
Using the documents and your knowledge of world history, describe the steps Peter the Great took during his reign to modernize Russia and transform it into a major European power. That's a pretty straightforward writing prompt. Last week, you did the reading on the Russian Empire, which included some Peter the Great stuff. Uh, you did your flow map over the, the key Russian czars that were in your reading and that were in that engineering uh, empire video, which included Peter the Great. So hopefully you already have some notes on this guy. Hopefully you already have a little bit of background knowledge. And, and like we said, you know, during the video, like you read about, one of the things he was known for is, is trying to get Russia caught up compared to the rest of Europe. Because Russia, during a lot of the days of the Russian Empire, was always lagging a little bit behind. I don't think you got to really simplify the prompt too much. That's pretty straightforward. Uh, but essentially what you're going to do on this little prep sheet is you're going to read through each of these documents. There are seven. Most of them are some primary or secondary source documents or some text. Uh, the last one though is a little painting. You'll just kind of have to draw some conclusions from that. As you read the documents, and I'll show you this on the prep sheet here in a second, you're going to create some little summaries. Uh, and in general, you're just going to kind of plan out your essay. So that's the Peter the Great doc. Um, I, I don't know how many of these you can have open at once. If you want to download it, that may be your best bet. Uh, but I kind of leave that up to you. The next document is the cap poster. It's the same poster that's right here. Um, on the DBQ essay for three of the documents, you need to, you need to source the document. You need to bring up how things like the context or the audience or the purpose or the point of view of the document may kind of shape what the document says or what it doesn't say. The cool thing is this is all your opinion anyway, but I do need you to at least attempt it on this essay. I know I know we haven't worked with it much, uh, but if I see at least an attempt to do this, I'll probably give you the point. Uh, for the the sourcing of the documents. This is just there as a reminder. We went over this a long time ago, uh, but if you need it, it is there. The next document I have is the prep sheet. Now these are the same, okay? This is the, the Word document that if you want to download and fill out, then upload, it's there. This is where you'll actually upload your prep sheet. The reason I put both is if you turn this in early, I don't know if you'll be able to access it when you actually write the DBQ. However, if you do it in Word and save it, and then you can use it on the DBQ, then you can upload it. Again, though, I leave it up to you, but this is essentially what you're gonna do. <clears throat> Excuse me. All right, there's like four-ish parts to this thing. And again, it looks like a decent amount, but it's really not that much. The first step for each of your documents, I want a very brief summary. Again, your writing prompt asks all the different ways that Peter the Great tried to modernize Russia. Well, when you're reading the documents, that's what you're looking for. You need to be asking yourself in that document, what's Peter the Great doing here to, to get Russia caught back up, to get them to be a major European power, like you see with some of your Western European countries. This does not have to be elaborate, nothing like that. And to fill it in, you will need to download it. Uh, but, but you know, a few words, you know, something that's just going to kind of trigger what he's doing in this particular document to modernize the nation. That's part one. Just a few words for each would be fine. Part two is where you are going to actually cap three of the documents. Now, by cap, I mean you're going to select one of these. Context, audience, purpose, point of view. You're going to explain, you know, what that is, what the point of view is, or what the context is, and then you're going to explain why that's significant. We went over a few samples last week, and this is kind of a weird one, so it is going to be a little bit difficult, but I just want to see you try to do this. Remember, this is all your opinion. It just needs to be logical. It needs to make sense what you're describing. So, you know, you choose for three of the documents, one of these, historical context or audience or point of view or purpose. You explain, hey, the purpose of the document in your opinion is this. Then explain why that's significant. Explain how that may shape what's in the document or not in the document. Again, this is all your speculation, so feel free to get creative, 
but you need to do this for any three of the documents that you choose and you can use any of these. It doesn't always have to be audience. It doesn't always have to be point of view. You can mix it up or you can pick one you feel comfortable with and just roll with that. I'm going to leave that up to you. This next part is actually going to allow you to get some of your essay written in advance, which trust me will be valuable. Uh, based on the documents, after you read the documents and you summarize them and, and you do your sourcing, I would like you more or less to write your introduction. It doesn't have to be a full on written introduction. OK, let me say that first. It could be some bullet points. It could be some keywords. This is basically your spot to brainstorm some things that you could do to a develop your context, to introduce the essay, giving you good background information. Uh, on the Russian Empire, on Peter the Great, whatever direction you wanted to go, and a way to kind of, you know, just brainstorm your thesis statement. Peter the Great modernized Russia by doing this and this and this and this. That's all it has to be. Again, you can write out completely if you want, but as long as I see some planning here, you'll get credit. And then the final part, this looks like a whole lot, but it's not. And you don't even have to fill out every single box. Once you've kind of figured out your essay. Once you've summarized the documents and you've got your thesis statement, you should have a decent idea of how your essay is going to flow. Well, this is where I want you to just kind of, you know, basically list out what documents you're going to talk about where. Uh, if you've got some outside evidence, remember in the rubric, you need to come up with one piece of outside evidence that's not in the document at some point. Where would you put that? Uh, if you're going to source your documents like we have you doing here, where are you going to discuss those issues? All this is is coming up with a game plan. Maybe in the first body paragraph, I'm going to talk about documents one and two. And then the next body paragraph, I'm going to talk about documents three and four. Doesn't have to be a whole lot here, but I need to see that you have some sort of plan in place. So that is the, the, uh, the Word version. I would recommend, if you can, download that, fill it out, save it, and then submit it. There's another way you can do it, but this way you have it. Uh, that way, if you submit it early, you still have it. You can use that when you actually write the DBQ. The last thing is where you're actually going to submit this thing. And again, I, I don't know if you'll be able to access it after you submit it. That's why I put the Word version in there. Uh, but you go to the DBQ prep sheet and you'll see it's the same thing. It, it looks a little bit different because the boxes didn't come over when I copy and pasted. Uh, but when you go to submit, which I don't have, but I could. Well, anyway. When you go to submit, you could, if you want, choose to do the text entry and just copy and paste all this over into the text box and then type it in, or you could upload a file that you've already done. I would recommend you do the file upload. That way you still have it after you submit it. Uh, but I'm gonna leave it up to you exactly what this looks like. Today's your day to kind of independently go over some of the documents. So use your time wisely, give me one second. Yes, ma'am. They are not answering. They all should have teams up and running. OK, so hold on. Isaac, Miguel, David, and Alicia. Have you guys seen the message? Uh, I just got it now. OK, they say they just got it. So yeah, go ahead and click on it. OK, now, hey, they just have to have teams up and running. There's no special team they have to be in, right? OK. Yeah. OK, Alicia has it open. She just went out into the hall and yeah, we'll go from there. All right, bye. Anyway, is it the same counselor? Is it Lockhart or somebody else? OK, Lockhart's now with her, so. You can go out there if you want, but she's probably going to talk to Alicia first. OK, so like I said, today is your day to just kind of work on this. Do it at your own pace. That is perfectly fine. Um, I would recommend, though, downloading the document, filling it out in the document, saving it, and then later submitting it. That way, when you actually write the DBQ, you have this stuff. But today's your day to figure that out and obviously ask any questions if you have them. Uh, on Wednesday, we're going to do this essay. We're going to do it in class. OK, that's going to be due. If you're here, it's going to be due in class before you leave. The actual prep sheet's going to be due by midnight, but get it done in advance. You got today to do it on your own.
know, tomorrow we're going to talk about it. If you just participate, we can get a lot of it done together. Um, and then hopefully on Wednesday, you have everything you need to write a good DBQ. If you are being productive, you can wear your headphones. That's fine, but definitely look out for those calls because your counselors will be trying to get into contact with you. Other than that, any questions? Fairly straightforward. I think the most confusing part is going to be the cap part. Just do your best on it. Right now, I'm just looking for you to try it, to try to explain how, you know, maybe this guy being an emperor, being the czar, maybe how that shapes how he views certain things. Or maybe him, you know, giving this proclamation, knowing that it's going to go out to the people. How might that shape what's being said, why they're saying what they're saying? Again, it's all your speculation, but still, uh, it is something you can get a pretty easy point for. If you need anything, let me know. I'm going to have my full classical music playing up here like I usually do when you guys are doing independent work. But uh, you are free to listen to your headphones. And as always, if you guys have any questions, let me know. Guys at home, I'm going to stop sharing my screen. But if you have any questions, just let me know. I'll keep this up and running.